Susan Chibangu has had a long and varied career, all in support of her beloved South Africa. I am one of the young people who schooled in Soweto and were part of the 1976 Soweto uprising. Today's pro-democracy demonstrators could be inspired by Shabangu. Her generation of student protesters were vigorous and effective opponents of apartheid. A leader of women's and labor movements in Africa, she's been a member of South Africa's parliament and has served in several government ministries. Currently, she is South Africa's Minister of Mineral Resources. She identifies with many of the heroes of South Africa's victory against the apartheid regime. I mean, as an ANC member, I model myself among most uh, prominent leaders of the ANC, Nelson Mandela, Oliver Tambo. Uh, being a young woman, they inspired me, Mrs. Sisulu, Albertina Sisulu, inspired uh, by Lillian Goyi, uh, died when we just entered uh, the face of the struggle in South Africa in the 70s. So you find those people being a source of inspiration. Her motto is to respect people. What qualities do you most admire in a man? Well, I think in a man, I admire men who respect women, who are able to see themselves as equals, more than as on top of you. For women, the stakes are somewhat different. We're living in a world which is not very friendly and kind to women, especially young women. So those women were able to share in their values, impart them to the young women, groom them, and always make sure that they are available to lean their shoulders when they are in trouble. I admire those women. Minister Shabangu encourages visitors to South Africa to be sure to see the Apartheid Museum, a place that has a special resonance for her and her family. Some of the places like the Apartheid Museum are uh, very interesting. I, I enjoy it now. I never liked it because some of the people, each time I walk around there, they say, oh, yeah, it's you. We see you when you're still young. I like music, um, but also I also like my uh, uh, private, quiet uh, space where I can reflect on my work at all times. For Africa.com, I'm Jacqueline Adams.